Are you locked out of your Android phone like this? If yes, then don't you worry as in this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock any Android phone without password using three simple methods and that is coming up. Uh. Okay, before starting the video, here are the methods that I'm going to cover in this video. Our first method would be using a software to unlock an Android phone. Our second method would be using Google Device Manager. And our third and last method would be using Odin to flash an Android phone in order to remove the lock screen. So let's start the video with our first method. As you can see, here I have an Android phone which is locked. Since I don't remember the password of this phone, I cannot open it. See, I get this error message. So let's start unlocking this Android phone with our first method. Our first method is using a software to unlock any Android phone without password. For this method to work, you need a Windows or a Mac computer. And after that, you need a software called For You Key for Android. You can get it from the link given in the video description below. So just click on free download and install the software into your Windows or Mac computer. After installing the software into your computer, the first thing you have to do is to connect your Android phone to your computer using a USB cable. After connecting your phone, just open the software. Once it's open, you will have two options. And from these options, select the first one called Remove Lock Screen. After that, the software will detect your phone automatically by itself. As you can see, my phone is OnePlus, so the software has automatically detected it. In your case, if the software couldn't recognize your phone, then click on this link and then choose your phone model so in my case my phone is oneplus okay next click on start click yes and then wait for this removing process to complete okay now all you have to do is follow these instructions given by the software in your case these instructions will be different depending on your phone model if you are using a oneplus phone like me first of all turn it off Then press and hold volume down button and power button together. Whenever you see the logo, just let go of everything. After that, you will get to this page. Once you are here, select your language. Then select format data. Now type this verification code and then tap on format. Which will erase everything on your phone including the lock screen password once your phone is formatted just tap on ok and then wait for your phone to restart once your phone is restarted you will get to this hello screen so just go through the setup process while this process is taking place would you please like this video and share it with your friends for you like and share is just a matter of clicks but for me it means a lot so thank you so so much if you do after that your android phone will be unlocked just like this see now this phone doesn't have any password attached to it the software has successfully removed password from this phone our second method is using google device manager for this method to work there are three requirements number one you must be using a google account on your phone number two your phone must be connected to internet through wi-fi or mobile data and number three find my device must be turned on if you meet all these three requirements then this method will work if not then you can watch the first method or the third method depending on what model you are using all right now let me show you how this method works okay first of all on your computer open your favorite browser and type google find my device then click on the first option and now log into this page using the same email address that you are using on your Android phone. After logging in, select your device. In my case, my phone is OnePlus 11R. Basically, this website is used to locate your lost or stolen phones. But with this website, you can also unlock your Android phone without password. To do that, click on Factory Reset Device. Click Next. After that, click on Reset. Click on Erase. And on the other side, your phone will restart by itself and after that you will have an unlocked android phone after going through the setup process your android phone will be unlocked just like this as you can see 
Our third and last method is using Odin. Before showing you the process, there are two things that you should remember. First, this method works with Samsung devices only. And the second thing is, this method is very complex and if you don't know what you are doing, then you will end up damaging your phone. So do it at your own risk. Okay, first of all, find out your phone's model number. There are two ways to find out your phone's model number. The first option is, if you have a box, then somewhere on the box, the model number is written. Here's mine. And, and the other option is, finding out your phone's model number through a recovery mode. So first of all, connect your Samsung phone to computer using USB cable. And then press and hold volume down button and power button together. Just keep press and holding them. Your device will turn off. Whenever you see this black screen, just let go of both buttons. And then quickly press and hold volume up button and power button together. After that, you will see the screen. You can also factory reset your phone from here by selecting wipe data slash factory reset. If you want to flash your phone using Odin, just note down this number. After forward slash, whatever number it is, that is your phone's model number. So write down this number somewhere safe. If you don't know how to get your Samsung phone into recovery mode, just do a Google search. In most Samsung phones, the method I am showing right now works. Now that you have your phone's model number, now open up any browser you want and then type your phone's model number. After that, type firmware download. It should be like this, see? And then hit enter. Then download a firmware for your phone. You can download from anywhere you want. Okay, the next step is downloading the Samsung drivers. So just type Samsung driver download. And the last thing is download Odin. So just type download Odin. Make sure to download latest version of Odin. Okay, after downloading everything, first of all install Samsung USB driver on your computer. After installing the USB drivers, now extract Odin and the firmware that you just downloaded. Next, launch Odin from your computer. Click OK. The next step is putting your Samsung phone into download mode. In order to put your phone into download mode, first of all, connect it to your computer using your USB cable. Next, press and hold volume down button and power button together. Just keep press and holding them. Whenever your phone screen goes black, just release the power button and volume down button. And then just quickly press and hold volume up button and volume down button. Just keep press and holding them. After that, your phone will get into this page. Now leave your phone as it is. And within the Odin, if you see this message, that means your phone is successfully connected with Odin. Okay, next, click on BL. Then select your firmware folder that you just extracted and select the BL file. Next select AP and select the corresponding file. So just add all these files. Once the all files are added, just click on start. And then wait for Odin to flash your phone. Once the flashing process is completed, you will see this message. As you can see, it says pass, which means it was successful. And on the other hand, just set up your phone as if it's brand new. After going through the setup process, your phone will be unlocked just like this. See? So there you have it, guys. That is my video on how to unlock an Android phone without password. Please let me know which one of these three options were helpful to you. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to hear them. And also, if this video was helpful to you by any means, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You want one like and share means a world to me. So thank you so much if you do. And if you want more videos like this in the future, 
then please subscribe my channel and I will catch you in the next one. Stay blessed, stay safe. Bye.